Hi, I'm Maeve Yore, and this is Genevieve Lee, and we're at Fine Tune Pilates Studio, and I was just thinking that it's the holiday season, and we really should have a little video to help us out after we've had too many holiday parties where we <laughs> maybe had a little too much indulgent food, maybe a little too many adult beverages, and just something to help kind of help our tummies feel better and move our backs and our hips a little bit because we just get so stiff with the traveling for holiday parties and stuff. So Genevieve is going to start off sideways so you can see how she's moving her back and then after a few moments we're going to flip the chair so that she's facing you and she'll see what you'll see what she's doing from the front, okay? And the only thing you'll want is maybe a little towel or a belt or a yoga strap if you have something, but something that you can hold that's pretty firm. It's not, you don't want a TheraBand. It will actually stretch too far. All right, so I've got her sitting forwards on the edge of the chair. So she's really up on her sit bones. She's not slumped back and relaxing like we would really love to be doing right around. No, 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 we're trying to feel better. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. And you're gonna reach your arms straight forward. It's about shoulder height-ish. You don't have to be perfect. Shoulders nice and relaxed. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of rounding the back, like cat stretch, if you were on your hands and knees. But when I've had too much to eat, too much to drink, the last thing I wanna do is get on the floor. If I get on the floor, that's it. I'm not getting up again. So we're gonna do modified cat stretch sitting. So she's stretching the band just a little bit, just so there's a little tension on her towel. And you're gonna take a nice big inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, you're gonna pull the belly button in and round your spine over your legs. And it's like you're massaging those internal organs with your abdominal muscles. And then as you inhale, you're gonna roll up through the spine and just sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, your abdominal wall is gonna come back in and massage those very hard working digestive muscles right now. Good, and then inhale, sit up nice and tall. And we're gonna do one more. Exhaling, the tummy pulls back in, the spine is rounding, good. And then you inhale, sit up tall from here, good. And now we're gonna do a little opposite, we're gonna do like rest your arms for one second, gets a little tiring to hold those arms out there forever. We're gonna do like cow stretch from hands and knees, which is a little bit of a back arch or a back bend, okay? So we take those arms back out in front of us and it's gonna be on an inhale. So stay here and just inhale for nothing. Don't go anywhere. Just exhale, let all that air out. And the arms are gonna stay here. And as you inhale, lift your chest up through your arms and glance up at the ceiling. Feel a stretch across your tummy. And exhale, come back neutral. Good. And inhale, lift your heart up. Open the collarbones, chin stretching. Make sure you don't drop the neck too far back. And then exhale back up tall, just stretching your spine out one more time. As you inhale, lift the heart, let the ribs lift. Maybe the belly button is trying to stretch up. And exhale, come center and pause there and rest the arms again for a moment. Good. All right, now we're gonna move the arms and the shoulder girdle a little bit. So sitting over those sit bones, and you're just gonna come back. Uh, not actually the booty, just bring your ribs back over the pelvis a little bit, yeah. Now, so you're gonna keep your spine nice and tall, and as you inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling, keeping a little stretch on your towel or your belt or whatever you're using, and then exhale, bring the, the towel all the way to your kneecaps. And inhale, stretch the arms up, the shoulders relax down. And exhale, bring the towel all the way to your kneecaps. One more time. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale the towel to your kneecaps. Now we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna put it all together. So inhale, the towel lifts. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, the towel comes down to your knees. You round your spine into your modified cat stretch. Massage those internal organs. Inhale, lift the towel, lift your chest, open your collarbones, and exhale, bring the towel down, massage the tummy back into your internal organs. One more time, inhale up, lift the heart, and exhale, fold and 
into it, rounding your spine a little bit. And now we're just gonna sit up to neutral. Inhale, roll up tall and rest there. Excellent, good. So we're gonna come back to those in a moment, so don't completely forget about them. And we're gonna turn the chair so that Genevieve's looking straight at you. So let's give it a little pivot. And perfect, okay. And she's still sitting forwards on the front edge on, your, on her sit bones, okay? And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do a little rotation now, okay? So let's bring your fingertips to your shoulders, elbows nice and open. And as you're here, check that those shoulders don't creep up to your ears, right? No, let's keep dropping them down. The elbows ever so slightly in front of your shoulder joint. All right, and now what I want you to think of with your abdominals is that we're gonna wring them out, kind of like you're wringing out the, a dish towel when you're squeezing all the water out. So as you breathe in, you're gonna rotate your rib cage, your chest, your shoulders, your head, inhaling, and exhaling, draw yourself back center, growing taller. Inhale, rotate to the other side. And exhale and feel your abdominals cinch in to draw you back center. Inhale, rotate. The sit bones are staying exactly where they are so they're not wandering around. Exhale, turn back center. Inhale, rotate the opposite direction. Exhale, pull back center. One more to each side. Inhale, twist. Lifting up tall, exhale, come center. Inhale, twist the other way. And exhale, come back center. And staying right here, we're gonna draw little circles with your elbows. So bring your elbows together in front of your chest, right? And we'll go up to the ceiling, open, behind you a little bit, down to the ribs, skim by your ribs as you come together in front of you and lift up. Right, moving it around. Breathe as it, however feels natural for you here. Just moving, not moving the spine too much, but don't feel like you've got to lock yourself steady. Let's reverse the circle for three. Good. Two. One more. And as your elbows come down, unfold your arms, let them come down by your side. And let's put one hand on your hip, either hand on one hip, pick a hand, there we go, we picked one. The other arm, you're gonna inhale, circle it out to the side, up to the ceiling, we're gonna side bend, exhale, go into a side bend, and keep that same hip bone and sit bone down into the chair. And then inhale, bring yourself back up tall, exhale the arm all the way down. Stay on that side, we're gonna do two more. Inhale, big dramatic circle, grow taller. Exhale, side bend, stretching in between the ribs, stretching the waist, good. And inhale up tall, exhale the arm down. Good, one more time, inhale the arm up. Shoulders relax down, exhale into your side bend. As you're in your side bend, check that you don't pop your ribs forwards, right? No, none of that. We're gonna keep the ribs gathered back in a little, stretch, and then come back up tall, and the arm comes down. Good, and we'll switch and do the other hand. And make sure you don't whack your fingers, okay? So inhale, the arm goes up, the shoulder relaxes down, and exhale, take it into a bend. Keep this sit bone anchoring down into the chair. Inhale, draw yourself back up tall, and exhale the arm down. Good. Inhale the arm up, shoulder relaxes. Exhale into your side bend. Good, the ribs stay back into you a little bit. Inhale up tall, and the arm comes down. Exhale one more time, please. Inhaling up, exhale, go over, let your waist open, get space in between the ribs here, and then inhale, draw yourself back up tall, and bring the arm down. Good, and just shimmy it out, shake it out for a moment, good. 
So we're going to go back to the ones we started, arching and rounding your back, but we're going to add a little rotation to it, really trying to use the abdominal muscles to help move things through the digestive tract, okay? So let's bring your hands behind your uh, head really low down. Think of your middle finger being almost at the hairline and fingers nicely laced together, nice and tight. Shoulders are relaxing down and the elbows are forward just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna do twisting and rounding forward. So we're gonna stay here. Now as you inhale, twist to one side. Exhale, round forwards over that thigh, pulling one side of the tummy in. Good, and then inhale, roll up tall, and exhale, come center. And inhale, twist to the other side. Exhale, round forwards, and this side of your tummy is gonna pull in a little extra. And then inhale, roll up tall, and exhale, come center. And inhale, twist. And exhale, curl forwards. The abdominal muscles are still pulling back and up. And then inhale, roll up through your spine. And exhale, back center. And inhale, twist the other way. And exhale, round. Both sit bones staying down on your chair. And then inhale, roll up tall. And exhale, come center and pause here. Good, and shake your arms out for a moment. Okay, now we're gonna do a little twisting and a tiny bit of extension or back bend. It's not gonna be a huge move. And just when you've gotten used to a breath pattern, I'm gonna screw with you, I'm gonna change it. So you're gonna stay here, stay centered as you breathe in. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift your heart, glance up. Exhale, come back to just sitting up tall. Inhale, twist center. Exhale, rota rotate to the other side. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale, let your chest and gaze come back down. Inhale, twist center. Exhale, twist to the first side. Inhale, twist up, lift up. If your breathing gets backwards, don't worry, just keep going. Exhale, relax the chest down. Inhale, twist center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, lift your heart, open your breastbone. Exhale, let your heart and your gaze come back neutral. Inhale, twist center. Exhale, relax the arms down. Good, and the last thing that we're gonna finish with here now, because I feel like we've moved the torso around a good bit, hopefully that's feeling good. We're gonna do a little leg and hip stretching because we've been sitting in cars and on trains and on buses and on planes and <laughs> sitting at our aunt's house at the dinner table. We just do a lot of sitting. So we yeah. need to stretch a bit. So you're still forwards on the edge of your chair. You're going to put both hands onto your left thigh and stretch your right leg out nice and straight, flexing your heel. All right. And then with a flat back, you take an inhale and grow tall. And exhale, lean forwards into it, keeping your collarbones open and your tailbone reaching back towards the chair. And take a big inhale here. And just exhale, keep the tummy lifting a little bit as you're in this forward bend. Inhale again. And just exhale, tummy lifting into you. Heel stretching away so your Achilles tendon is long. Big inhale. And on this next exhale, round your back. Let your head fall forwards a little bit. Let your shoulders melt. Good. And take two breaths here. Big inhale. So you're gonna feel the lower back open up some. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, good. You're gonna roll back up through your spine. So you come back over your hips, stack the vertebrae up, and we switch sides. So you stretch your other leg out straight, hands around the bent knee or thigh. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lean forwards into it with an open chest. Good, and inhale. And 
extended exhale and your sit bones are pressing deeply back into the chair as your chest is leaning forwards at an opposite diagonal. So we're stretching the torso in two directions here, the tail going backwards, the chest going forwards. One more nice big inhale. And on this one, exhale, round your spine, let your head be heavy. Good, inhale, let your lower back stretch on that inhale. Exhale, everything relaxes and the tummy pulls in just a little extra. Inhaling, fill your lungs up. And exhaling, hollowing out the tummy a little bit. Oh, good. Inhale. And on this one, we're going to roll back over the hips and stack the vertebrae up nice and high. Good. And then bend both knees. And open your legs a little wider than the width of your chair, letting your knees turn out, your toes turn out. And you're gonna put your palms on the insides of your thighs slash knee, right? But don't push on your kneecaps, right? Thighs. And with a flat back, you're gonna lean forwards and press your legs open. So we have a little oppositional energy here, right? The torso is leaning forwards, the thighs are getting pressed backwards. Good. Check that you don't get tense up in the neck or shoulders here. Good. So now you're gonna drop one shoulder down center and you're gonna turn your body and look over the other shoulder, still leaning forwards. And whichever shoulder is dropping down, you're gonna push that thigh back a little extra. So we're getting a kind of facilitated twist here, right? We're giving that twist a little extra juice and we're also getting a little extra inner thigh stretch on that one side. Good, let's switch sides. So her shoulder's gonna drop down into the center. She's gonna turn and look over her other shoulder. Good, keeping the ribs engaged a little bit, right? So again, we don't go into an arched back here. Yep, not so good. Pressing into that thigh. Good, come back center. Give it one more centered stretch, pressing the thighs back and the chest forwards. And then let's sit up tall. Use your arms, push into your arms a little bit, come up tall. Bring the legs a little closer to each other, little space, right? And we're gonna do a little hip stretch. Let's cross the right ankle or whichever over the other knee, making sure that the ankle bone gets all the way across the knee. And then we're gonna go forwards for our hip stretch. So you're gonna lean into it, keeping both sit bones on the chair. And if you wanna have a flat back, great. If you feel better with a rounded back, do it. It's really about where do you feel the stretch in the hip. And so whichever knee is bent and crossed, that's the hip you're stretching. So for Genevieve, it's her right tush. She's looking for that stretch. Good, one more deep breath. Good, roll back over the chair, roll up tall and we'll switch legs. So crossing the ankle bone is all the way over. Good, as you go forwards into your stretch, go ahead Genevieve, whichever, you know, she's got her left leg up, our bodies in an effort to cheat will start to lean towards the left to get out of the stretch. So make sure you keep the opposite sit bone firmly anchored down and that your chest is going straight forwards into the stretch, whether or not you've got a flat back or a rounded back. Just breathing. Good. And nice, good. Breathing there, let those shoulders relax a little. All right, so when you're ready, roll back over the hips, roll up tall and bring the feet down. So hopefully you feel a little better after any holiday entertaining. <laughs> and I would recommend drinking lots of water. Often what we're really feeling after these big parties is being dehydrated. So get on, get on your water. All right, thank you very much. Have a great holiday season, everyone.